Hey y'all, welcome back. That is the ICW, in particular the little Sarasota Bay. And uh, yeah, I just wanted to do, I had a few minutes to do a little bit of uh, talking with talking tropicals here. And uh, look like a pretty good little street to do it on. So yeah, we'll do a few minutes of this. I won't be able to do as long as I usually do these talking tropicals, but that's okay. We'll do what we can. And I think these two, um, this, this one here, and then that one, I want to say those are some type of Vichia, though I'm not um, too schooled in my Vichia genus. Huge sea grape here. Gigantic sea grape. It's a pretty cool house right here on the water. I believe this is actually ponytail palm right here. Huh. It's the largest ponytail I've ever seen in my life. At least I think that's what it is. And I think also the ponytail palm might not actually be a palm. I can't remember. They actually got a uh, triangle palm right in here too. And I don't know if it's going to be good light. It's a cloudy day finally. Way less hot than it has been. But yeah, triangle palm right there. Pretty nice day. Uh, I was up at Zoo Tampa earlier today. Very nice day up there. Pretty good looking royal here. And uh, some big old spindles right there. Man, check out the size of those spindles. Man, those things are 12 foot tall, man. Beautiful. A little bit of lady palm in there. This one's got the seed brack coming out here. Really nice looking royal here. And a nice two pair of tri foxtails which provides man a really dense canopy i don't know how i feel about it i don't know how i feel about it in one sense it's really nice you get a lot of foliage but in another sense i feel like the foxtail is so pretty by itself just let it ride flanked by another beautiful royal sorry about these crows guys gee many christmas these crows are losing their minds this guy's got a nice yard though yeah, over here we got the beautiful areca set i actually like how they th have thinned it out though i imagine they may want a little bit more privacy there but any rate, beautiful property here. And I think they've got these situated with uh, some foxtails as well, which actually you can't even see because the Eureka is just kind of taking them over. So something to pay attention to. But yeah, that's a pretty good look. That foxtail, those foxtails are totally misplanted. Or they shouldn't have been planted there. That was just kind of bad design. I mean, I understand when those Arikas were younger, that foxtail probably looked pretty good, but now you're kind of like, well, can't see your foxtail anymore. Beautiful Southern Magnolia. Nice little, um, well, split in half due to the, tr the uh, electrical lines there, but looks really good. Here's a nice property over here with some nice royals not too many coconuts back here which is kind of a bummer but yeah oh, i say that there's one coconut oh, that's a couple couple co a couple coconuts back there perfect use case for the royals to line your yard it's a beautiful property good grief straight back to the intercoastal man the money some people have, folks, are crazy. But yeah, the salt coconut will come up on it right here. 
Yep, there it is. That looks good. And then there was another one right back here with uh, tons of fruit on it. So, got some longleaf pine and uh, yeah, that might be it for this little area. I think I, I think my wife just texted me. <laughs> so I need to head back. But these three royals are gonna look really good. That's really good placement on them. They're younger, but those are gonna be really, really good right there. So kudos to that property owner. And I think we'll call it quits here for, uh, for today, guys. But uh, yeah, everybody have a good day. Hope to get more out to you when I can. Take care, have a good one, bye.